Good morning, Bobby. Hi, Kitty Cat. So, hi, everybody. If you're new to the channel, I'm Heather, and this is Cuz We Can Farm. A couple of years ago, I bought 73 acres in northern Idaho and invited my best friend, Kimmy, to come help me build the homestead. We're gardening, we've got animals, we're working on self-sustainability, and we're building a shipping container tiny home. We're off-grid, so a lot of times you'll hear our generator and the dogs bark and the animals talking, but I hope you will come along and enjoy our journey. Today, we're gonna to be working on finishing up our greenhouse. Can I see your eggs? Do you think that those water nozzles are gonna hatch? Are you supposed to be in here? You guys go, you guys go to the orchard. This is not your space anymore. They're trying to come into the garden. So we have left all of these wildflowers and I know it seems really weedy, but this is the time of year that the flowers disappear and then the bees don't have any pollen. So we're leaving all the wildflowers they can and they actually want to grow in the garden space. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Filling up waters for the bunnies. <laughs> How much water you got there in that tank? And, and also for the rest of the animals. Um, this week? Yeah. It was a thousand, but it's probably down to 500 now. But in order for us to drill a well, it would cost us about thirty to $50,000 and we just don't have that. So this works for us. Okay guys. We came and sprayed. That's what's left of the nest. I don't see any bees or any hornets. We did it late last night. So they would have all been in there. But Kimmy's going to be doing a video over on Waking Up Country about hornets and how they actually really affect the bees. So not only are they bad for us because they're extremely aggressive. Oh, <laughs> stick flipped and I thought it was a hornet. <laughs> So not only are they extremely bad for us because they're very aggressive, but they are really bad for the bees. So check the description below. You'll see a link to her channel if you're not already subscribed. And she's gonna be giving us a lot of information on hornets and just what you need to be doing with them. Good morning. Oop. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, you got one half of the log, except for that one. What's going on there? I need them fully stripped, sissy. Get busy, girl. Everybody earns their keep, including you babies. Child labor laws don't apply to goats. Kimmy is a child labor law. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Piggy. You got sleepy eyes, girl. Why are you so sleepy? What you doing, Wilbur? Getting a drink? I need 20. There's six. We found the mother load. Okay, we're gonna create uh, posts for our tomato plants. Okay guys, we're finally gonna plant this um, bed. I filled the rest of it with dirt while Kimmy was doing dishes. We're gonna add some beets. 
which will probably do a couple of rows of that um, because the greens will be really good for the critters and I love beets. We've got some bunching onions. I'm not really sure if we have enough time for this. It says 70, 65 to 70 days, but we're gonna give it a shot and just see um, because we're extending at the greenhouse. We have yet to plant lettuce. We don't know why. <laughs> it just has not happened. So we're gonna get some lettuce in the ground. There's also some cucumbers in here. We're not gonna plant the cherry tomatoes, which I actually don't think any of ours ended up being cherry tomatoes. So next year we'll totally be planting them. There's some regular carrots in here. So we'll probably um, plant those. And then I have this mixed bunch and I'm not really sure how this is gonna look inside. It's actually um, a planting tape, which I've never used. And this kind of got damp. <laughs> We'll just see how it goes. We were done cutting the record. The first single was a go. And before I knew what was going on, it was on the radio. The battery for watering is dead at the moment, so we are just doing a quick little water with the watering can. We'll get that battery charged up and get a good drench on them a little bit later so that they can start the growing process. <laughs> Where are we going? Well, we're gonna go check out the area for the solar shed and go see if there's a bunch of wasps living in the sawmill. Yay. I was waiting for the nod. You always nod and go, and go. <laughs> I didn't get that. <laughs> so I think this, this is kind of a flat area. I think this is where we're going to end up putting the solar shed. Um, this driveway is not really going to be here anymore. So this will be off and out of the way. And the wiring will only have to go from those four posts over here. There's the posts right there. So it's pretty clear. What we're going to have to decide is, do we want a back porch and no stairs, or do we want a solar shed? Comment below. These are our poles where the solar panels are going to be. So that's maybe 20 feet from where I'm thinking of putting the shed. Might be, might be 40 feet. Um, this is all southern facing. Um, we're not going to show you that. It's just a bunch of junk over there, and it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> But we will show you the sawmill. Yeah, we will go to the sawmill, but <clears throat> I gotta buy some brackets for this thing and get this set up. And, and I think we're gonna try to do that this next week. So make sure you come back to check that out. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Who's Karen? Karen is um, the chipmunks because they get mad at us and yell every time we come over here. So we call them Karen, but we love them. We, we <laughs> love our Karen. We love our Karen. <laughs> oh, it's a little treacherous. So this particular log, we started moving um, last year. I, th I think it's a eight by 10, it's ridiculously heavy. Um, and it has inspired me to make a log dolly. So that's gonna be an upcoming Thursday video because there's no way Kim and I can move it because all three of us tried to move it last year. Oh, that was painful. And we got this far and that was it. That is so cool. Yeah, so we have, I'm a bad sawmill owner. I did not really put her away. I just like threw, threw the, I didn't even take logs off. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, but we've got these five logs. We've got some logs back here that we can get um, put up and, and set up to go. And then I've got a whole bunch of logs way over there that my son's been moving. I'm not really sure. And I've got some giant logs behind us. Um, that won't fit on this mill. 
So we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. So this one is about 37 inches wide. I think this one's 35. That one might be 34. The Woodmiser LT35 actually does a 26 inch. So what I'm thinking is we're just gonna cut this into six inch slabs. This is pine. This would actually probably side my entire um, barn. I'm not seeing anything swarming. Well, this is good news. This is really good news. No man. attacks of the wasps. Last year we'd come out here and they were swarming. I mean, obviously we can start it up and, and maybe things will start flying, but there's holes here and I'm not seeing anything in that, but there's holes on this like this that they created nests in last year. not seeing anything so basically I just need to do some maintenance on this to get it ready to get started and then we're actually gonna hook it up and haul it off take it to a couple people's houses and do some milling and clean up this hot mess that we've got going on and then get to milling our barn I'm so excited Me too. I can't wait So we're finally getting our firewood stacked. Some things that I've actually learned, cut them the same length <laughs> and cut off all your limbs. That's made it a little bit hard um, to stack these, but I think we're doing a pretty good job for our first time ever doing firewood and stacking firewood. I actually watched Wrangler Star. I'm not his normal demographic, but uh, he had some great tips on stacking lumber. Link in the description below. So this morning we're headed over to a friend's house and we're going to learn how to lay out a building. Um, I have did this before with my neighbor uh, for the barn and garage, so we're already set with that. But anytime that I can go physically learn something with somebody else who has the knowledge, uh, I'm going to try to do that. So we're taking a little bit of time out of our Saturday morning and we're going to go help Randy with R&D Benton Old Homestead. Um, do a building layout. So guys, we were waiting for Randy to give him directions. And there is something in there and I saw it. Oh, there's a creek. But there was an animal that just made a really weird noise. It's happening with these logs. Somebody's got some firewood waiting on them. Forty by let's see, forty by fifty is going to be. Yeah. That sounded like that. It does. So what does this thing do? Yeah, it's going to set level. We can shoot corners with it, but we don't have to because we can use hypotenuse and check the corners that way. So if you look through that, Randy's throwing out math words. Okay. <laughs> oh, that part. And the, see the diamond? Oh. Okay. Can you see that stick in the diamond? Am I close? No. Let me see that way a little bit. That way? Okay. And see that knob to your right? <laughs> okay. Oh, bless Randy's heart. <laughs> See the stick? No, I see the other. 
I'm going to take a photo of it, and then my phone will tell me what it is. There's a possibility that that is Hucklebee. Hucklebee? Berries. <laughs> Huckle, Huckleberries. <laughs> Results, results, the results say dog bane oh. yeah, I didn't think that was or a pocanum. Like Are you able to dig within the food on that? Let's see that there. Only go three or two? Three. three. Um, is that three? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be... I used to just chew them off when I had teeth. <laughs> yeah, because you found. <laughs> That's because because you found the other one before. <laughs> Randy the candy man. <laughs> Eight two on the way up. When I lost. <laughs> Thought it might be my last meal for a <laughs> <laughs> What happens on the drive home? Oh, uh, I'll stop the rest. That's the end of it. Can you see the stars? I not. I can see the. Uh, can you see the moon? No. Can you see it? Yeah, it's cool. Right there. Right here. Right there. On the road, headed back to New Orleans. For that corner. Yeah. Six. Driving in. That was five foot two. And, oh, number three, six foot six and five eighths. Big birds were singing in the tall. I can see you, but my my Three you're this far away. Paper bag. Mm -hmm. I miss so you. You're not, I can see you, but you're on the side of the little line below the seven. Thrown in a van. It's where you're at, right? I'm way back. Right there, Better you're good, you're level. Now now you've got me. It's the west young man. There, stop. Okay, my crosshairs are at five feet. Soul. And times that I've five, told It says five feet five, Places nine. it had to want to be Where's your finger? Where'd your finger go? And how many days When I could have stayed I'm, I'm the Instead <laughs> of just getting up to leave And given we make time I reach down you know what I like about this tape? It's bright! A long coat <laughs> walking on a New York street. A pack of crushed cigarettes fell to her feet. Well, ain't it odd how some people meet? But that's the truth. Two pictures buried in a guitar case Underneath the music sheets all over the place 